Hi, I'm Brett from GFB. Now you've just installed your blower valve, and the first thing you're going to ask is how to adjust the spring. That's what we're going to show you how to do. The valve we're demonstrating here, this is a Stealth FX fitted to the WRX. The first thing to do is to find the softer spring setting, which you do by turning the cap anti-clockwise until it stops. And at that point, that's your softer setting. Now we need to start the car up and get it running at its normal operating temperature. With the spring in a softer setting, you'll probably find that the piston hovers open slightly when the engine's idling. And the idea with the spring adjustment is to tighten the spring until you get that piston to close at all. So by turning the cap clockwise, we tighten the spring. Usually a good place to start is about three full turns from the softer setting. And then we give the engine a few sharp stabs on the throttle. And what you should see is the piston open quickly and then close slowly. Now the next step is to make sure that the piston is shutting uh, before the engine reaches idle. If it's not, what you'll find is that the engine may stumble or cough a little bit. So just turn the top of the valve clockwise, one full turn at a time, until the engine returns to a nice smooth idle. If you do the spring too tight, what you may notice is a little bit of fluttering noise coming from the intake. That's actually called compressor surge and it's a good idea to try and avoid that if you can. In that case, try loosening the spring one turn at a time until it disappears. This also carries through to other valves. The spring adjustment process is basically the same for all of them.